Hi everyone, today I am making chili rellenos with poblano peppers, which we're going to roast on the stove. And I'm going to be stuffing them with some Monterey Jack cheese. And then we're going to top them with my homemade ranchero sauce, which I have a video for you. And I'm going to leave it right over here. And you can click on that, make that first, and then come back and make this. So we're going to pop these in the oven when we get it all together to get everything nice and melted and deliciously hot. And I'll tell you, I know you're going to love this. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. Let me show you what you're going to need for ingredients. So here's our ranchero sauce. Now I'm using Monterey Jack, and I cut these pieces into nice size uh, chunks or wedges, whatever you want to call it, to fit inside of our poblano peppers. And then I have some grated Monterey Jack cheese so that we can sprinkle that on top once we get our dish assembled. Here's a couple of poblano peppers. We'll need some eggs. I have some flour here, some garlic powder, some pepper, and some vegetable oil. So the first thing we need to do is start off by roasting our peppers. So we're gonna do it right over the flame. You could do it in the oven if you want. Uh, you could do it a, a larger number, faster probably, but since I'm only doing two today, I'm gonna put them right over the flame right here and I can control it uh, I think a little better because I can see what's going on and you hear the snap crackle pop that's what we want we want this to char up and we'll, I'm gonna turn them over as it cooks and I'll show you what that looks like so our peppers are about done I just you pick them up you look at them pretty much charred everywhere and what we're going to do is place them into a bowl here. We have a nice little bowl. So we'll just cover these with plastic. You can use a plate, anything you want, a lid, whatever works. And we're going to let those steam for about 10 minutes. And that's just going to make the skins much easier to peel off. Now we're ready to peel our peppers. They've been sitting here uh, steaming for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to use paper towels just to uh, protect my skin. So you just take your paper towel and you just rub the blackened portion of the skin off. It makes your chili nice and soft underneath. All right, so don't rinse your chili off because you know, you'll be um, kind of washing away all the good flavor. Just rub it off with a paper towel just like that. Now that I've got the peppers cleaned off, and like I said, it's okay to leave a little black stuff on there. It's perfectly fine. This one here ended up with a little bit of hole in it. So I'm just gonna go with that hole um, and make it a little longer. I wanna remove the seed pod in here because uh, I don't like it too hot. So I'm going to cut that out. What I like to do is just cut the stem part out. So I can come from the top here. So you can just scrape out the seeds and then I have a nice large little area there that I can just stuff the cheese in. So now we're gonna stuff our peppers with cheese. Now I cut them originally into certain sizes, but you can trim them down, whatever's gonna fit, like this one here. Um, I'm just gonna lay the cheese in there, and I wanna get quite a bit of cheese in these. These peppers are nice and fat. Then you can take a toothpick and sort of do like a, a stitch to kind of hold it together. But this one, we got a nice big opening right there in the top. And if I trim this down a little bit, I can get another piece in there. and then we'll just seal it up. You just have to remember to take these uh, toothpicks out, obviously, after you cook them. So now we're ready to start our batter. But before we start it, I just want to mention that you want to get your oil heating up on the stove. I have my cast iron pan back there, and I filled it up with some vegetable oil so that the riennos, when they're cooking, will float. That's kind of important. If they sit on the bottom, they may stick and they may burn. So I put about an inch or so of oil. So now let's start with separating our eggs. So I've got some eggs here, and I'm going to uh, separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. And I'm going to put the whites in the big bowl. So I just toss them in between my hands because I, I just have better control that way. All right, so now I'm gonna use a hand mixer and we're gonna mix these egg whites until they're nice and stiff. All right, that's looking pretty stiff to me. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in. Next comes some flour and the flour is gonna help stabilize this a little bit so that the 
you know, it doesn't just get real, it doesn't break down. So it, it makes it last a little longer. And then we're gonna put a little pepper in there. And I'm gonna mix this up again. Okay, so I'm just gonna break the egg yolks a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna put a spoonful of that in there. Actually, use about two thirds of the yolk because if you use too much or all of it, it's gonna make your batter runny. And I'm gonna fold that in. Now this batter is something you kind of have to work a little quickly with. It's going to get runny as it sits. Make sure you're ready to go. You've got your oil hot, your peppers are ready, everything's ready to go. So now I'm going to head over to the stove and start cooking. Right. Oil is hot. I tested. I put a little bit of batter into it. If it bubbles up nicely, then you know you're good. Okay, so what I want to show you here is I'm going to take my pepper. Now remember, we've got our toothpick on this one. This is the, only has the one. I'm going to set it in the batter like that, and then I'm going to cover the Rihanna with it. And I'm just going to give it a nice light coating. Not too thick, but just enough to cover it, just like that. Then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to pick it up, just like that. And then I'm going to set it right in the oil. Do you see how I flipped it over? All right, now I'm going to spread out this batter a little bit. Once you get it in there, you take another spoon a slotted spoon, preferably, and I'm going to flick a little bit of oil over the top so that the top starts to cook as well. Now, each time you put a chili relleno in the pan, it's gonna make the temperature of your oil drop a little bit. So just keep that in mind. You may have to adjust your temperature. All right, so now we're gonna flip this over. Like I said, I wished it was floating because I'm used to them floating, but be very careful with the hot oil. Turn that over. Come on, baby. Turn over, and you can see that looks nice and golden. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit on that side, and then we'll take it out, and I'm gonna place it onto my uh, paper towel covered baking sheet over there to absorb some of the grease. And what you're looking for is a nice golden brown exterior, just like this is, and it's just about done. All right, let me give you a peek here. You can see underneath, beautiful golden brown. Pick it up, let it drain a little bit, and place it onto your your dish. Now I'm going to do another one for you just so you can see it twice. Now this is the, the chili relleno that has uh, two toothpicks. I decided to take them out because it's going to be difficult to remove them with the batter. So what I'm going to do here is you see I've got two openings and hopefully we won't splatter too much. I'm going to keep the seam side, I'm going to put it down first. I'm going to lay it in like this because this is actually going to be the top once it's in the oil. So I lay it down, remember give it a nice little coating on top, spread it around. and I'm just gonna cover this lightly with batter. These are actually a lot of fun to make. I, I would make them in the restaurant I would have. I had a bigger pan and I would cook three to four at a time. And that was always a kick. I always enjoyed those. They were a lot of fun. Nice and perfect, nice and golden brown. I'm gonna take this out, let it drain for just a bit. And you notice we didn't have any splatter at all. So you really don't need the toothpicks, guys. All right, guys, so this is how we serve it up. I got my chili relleno on a baking dish, something that'll go in the oven, and I've removed that toothpick because once we serve this up, we don't wanna have to be you know, worried about biting into a toothpick, right? So I removed that. I've got my ranchero sauce here, and we are gonna cover this with ranchero sauce. And we're gonna give it a fair amount because this sauce is really delicious and it's just beautiful with this recipe. And then we're gonna to top it with a little bit more Monterey Jack. And we're gonna put this in the oven. I got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And we're gonna put this in there until it gets all nice and melty and make sure that cheese is melted throughout the whole thing, okay? Because it may not have melted when we were frying it. So it's gotta be hot to be good, guys. So in the oven it goes. All right, guys, here's our chili relleno. I just took it out of the oven. You wanna see that sauce be nice and bubbly like we've got here. Um, and the cheese is completely melted. You want it to be nice and hot. So let me go ahead and see if I can cut into this and I can show you how it looks on the inside. Maybe I can make you guys hungry, huh? Oh, that cheese is just oozing out. Look at this. Look at that. It is delicious, guys. If that doesn't make you hungry, man, I don't know what will. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to make chili rellenos. Uh, please leave me a comment, you know, give me the thumbs up if you liked it and uh, be sure and share it with others that you think might enjoy it too. So and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button that way you'll be notified of new videos as they come out every week. 
Thanks again for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.